Okay, what the heck is this? Hey guys, Zero Eleven here, and today we've got some retail versus hobby of 1920 Upper Deck Series 1. For this video, we're going to be doing a blaster and $25 worth of hobby packs of 1920 Upper Deck Series 1. So this blaster costed 24 bucks, the packs costed 25 bucks, and we're going to see which one is better. First off, there's some changes to the blaster. Like, I don't know what the variation of this blaster is, but it's 8 cards a pack like your tins or your retail boxes, and only seven packs. What the frick? So young guns are one in four, but you're not even guaranteed to get two. Your canvas odds are still the same as old blaster packs, like five cards a pack. What the heck are they doing here? What the frick? Seriously, this is, this is different. But today we got a blaster and five hobby packs of 1920 Series 1. So the differences with Series 1 is hobby, you can get a lot more. Like... Pretty much Pure Energy, 30 Years of Upper Deck, Generation Next, Clear Cuts, Exclusives, any uh, Acetate things like the Clear Cut Foundations, Game Patches, all the fun stuff is in Hobby. Retail is pretty much the dumbed down version. Pretty much you can just get the Young Guns, the Canvas Cards, the Shooting Stars, the Portraits, and you have a rough time getting Game Jerseys, they're 1 and 240. Day with a Cup and the Draft Cards are just... No. Same with the ceremonial puck drop. So yeah, let's compare them. Only seven pack. What the heck? So yeah, let's start off with the blaster. Only seven packs. I remember 1314 having eight cards a pack for their blasters, having one in four young as odds. But it came with eight packs, not freaking seven. But yeah, let's take them out here. Okay, here they are. All right. Gee, so you get seven packs compared to five. So it looks like Hobby's looking like it's much better this year, but. Yeah, look at that. Seven, only seven packs. What the frick? I'm saying frick a lot, but whatever. All right, let's open up some retail. Hopefully get two young guns instead of one. They could have at least made the canvas young guns one in 48 instead of one in 96, geez. Uh, Matt Murray, Essa Lindell, David Krejci, Roberto Luongo. You got a canvas card, Brandon Dubinsky. Brandon Dubinsky, Opera Deck Canvas. Frickin' Brad Marchand, Zach Bogosian, and Ricard Raquel. First pack, get a canvas card. They're kind of tough to pull in here, so I'll take it. All right, next pack up. Okay. We got Kyle Palmieri, Dominic Simone, Kasperi Kapanen, and Libor Hayek. Young Guns, Libor Hayek. I'm pretty sure he was Lightning Property. Yeah, he was former second rounder of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Was it 2016? Yeah, 2016 second rounder. He was a part of the JT Miller and Ryan McDonough trade. So there you go. Young defenseman for the New York Rangers. So that's not too bad. Okay. You got Jordan Wheel, Morgan Riley, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Tyler Johnson. Hopefully that's not the only young guns. That'd be pretty freaking hostile if it is. So yeah, let's continue on here. Jeez. Okay. We got Seth Jones, Chris Tierney, uh, Thomas Shabbat, Daniel Sprong, Ilya Kolchak, Nick Letty, Cam Atkinson, and Oliver Bjorkstrand. Jeez. I'd actually rather have 12 packs, 5 cards a pack, than what this is. Jeez. Brian Holpe, Roddick Faxa, Brent Seabrook, Cody Eakin, Ryan Reeves, Lars Eller, Antoine Roussel, and Mark Stone. I mean, with the 12 packs, five cards a pack, you got a lot more packs open. It's more fun. This is kind of, eh, honestly. It's looking like Hobby's the right choice here. If you can get Hobby, that is. So, yeah, let's continue on here with retail. Hopefully get one more Young Guns. I'll be kind of triggered if I don't. <laughs> Nikita Kucherov, Jake Muzzin, Patrick Hornquist. Looks like we got Shooting Stars. Darren Helm. Got a Shooting Stars, Left Wingers, Taylor Hall. Shooting Stars, Left Wingers, Taylor Hall. I do like the look of those uh, Shooting Stars. They are quite nice. But yeah, there you go. Shooting Stars, Taylor Holt. Got Alex Radulov, Noah Hannafin, and John Klingberg. Final two packs already. Jeez, final two packs already of the blaster. Don't know what to think here. Warren Fogel, Eric Gustafson. Okay, there we go. Pavel Buchnevich. Well, I mean, you got a Quinn Hughes Young Guns. <laughs> Pretty freaking good. Even though Vancouver's been struggling as of late, Quinn Hughes Young Guns, that's still a really good Young Guns. So I pulled Jack and Quinn already this year. But there you go, that kind of saves the retail right there. Even though two Young Guns isn't guaranteed. But there you go, Quinn Hughes Young Guns. Really freaking good Young Guns. Excellent puck moving defenseman. Okay, got Henrik Lundqvist, Nephew Tyler, 
Brett Pesci, and Kyle Turris. Okay, final pack. Probably gonna be a base pack. We'll see. We shall see. We got TJ Oshie. We got Jason Zucker. Cam Fowler. Connor Hellbuck. Jacob Silverberg. Josh Morrissey. Henrik Borkstrom. And Sam Bennett. So yeah. The Blaster's disappointing. Even though I pulled a really good Young Guns. The configuration sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like that. There's no guarantees of two Young Guns. Which is hostile. But still got one of the best Young Guns. So there's that. Now on to the hobby. Alright. So we got five hobby packs. And one of these packs is quite thick, so I'll save that to the end. But yeah, five packs of hobby compared to the seven and the blaster. Wow, jeez. All right, let's open them up here. And in hobby, you can get exclusives, you get high gloss, all the fun stuff, clear cut. So, got Nolan Patrick, got Philip Grubauer, Carter Hart, and uh, Pure Energy of Ryan O'Reilly. Cannot get these in retail. Pure Energy, Ryan O'Reilly. Got Brett Pesci, Cal Turris, Jacob Silverberg. Josh Morrissey. All right, next pack up of Hobby. That'd be cool if you get a Hobby exclusive thing in here, but they're kind of tough to pull because they do make a lot of this stuff. All right, got JVR. Got Matthew Barzell. Elias Lindholm. Tyler Sagan. And hey, <laughs> Quinn Hughes, UD Portraits Rookies. So there you go. Should start a Quinn Hughes PC now, but no, I'm probably just going to sell this, not going to lie. All right. Quinn Hughes, UD Portraits Rookies. We got Jordan Wheel, Morgan Riley, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Then again, I don't know if I'm selling it. I sold his brother and kind of regret it. So maybe I'll just keep Quinn. I guess we'll see. All right. Next hobby pack. Jacob Chikrin, Matt Dumba, Max Pacioretty, Pure Energy, Jonathan Drouin. So no young guns yet. Jonathan Drouin, Pure Energy. Only got five packs, though. Um, Alex Petrangelo, Keith Yandel, Matt Calvert and Sam Reinhardt. And Young Guns are 1 and 4 in Hobby. They're obviously 1 and 4. But yeah, let's open up the second last pack of Hobby. Come on, Hobby exclusive thing. That'd be nice. Okay. Frankie Vetrano, and that's fricked up. Look at that. That's a printing error or something right there. The foil is completely off. It looks like it's off for Sorelli as well. Looks like it's off for Chikrin. It's off for Dumba. Got a Johnny Goodrow upper deck canvas that looks normal there. And then Tara Vinen's fine. Jake DeBrus, that one's fine. Shea Theodore, that one's fine. What the heck? Got some uh, slightly messed up cards there in Hobby, which is surprising. But yeah, usually they mess up in retail. So yeah, final pack of 1920 <laughs> Series 1. And Hobby, that is. And it looks like... Well, it looks like we got a jersey there, but it looks like retail one because of the Quinn Hughes. So yeah, Connor Hellebuck. Miko Koskinen, uh, what the heck is this? What am I looking at? Whoa, what am I looking at here? Is that, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Uh, we've got Marcus Foligno, it looks like it might be hobby school, so maybe it's a jersey card, I haven't seen the jersey cards. William Nylander, actually I have, I think they're like, they're like the Stanley Cups, aren't they? We've got Nick Benino, okay, what the heck is this? We've got, number, is it Nolan, Pat, ah, Nolan Patrick, that's meh. Generation X jersey, ooh, that's cool. You can only get this in hobby. Generation Next Jersey. These are like 1 in 576 packs, I think. Let me double check that. Yep, they're 1 in 576 packs. Unfortunately, it's Nolan Patrick. One of the worst ones he can get. Because he's been derailed by injury. Hopefully it's game used. Hoping it's game used. It's game used. So there we go. Nolan Patrick, Generation Next. So yeah, guys. There's Retail versus Hobby of 1920 Upper Deck Series 1. Why did they switch the configuration of the blaster? Why? Granted, mega boxes and all that, they're coming out soon, I'm pretty sure, so stay tuned for that. They're definitely gonna be on sale for Black Friday. They always are. They're gonna be like 20, 25 bucks. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more bricks to come. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.